Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to talk about what I do aside from filming YouTube videos. I also wanted to mention that this was super highly requested from like a ton of people close to me, um, friends, I've had some comments as well. I briefly mentioned what my job is in my last video. There are some pretty interesting stories and people that I meet that has to do with my career that a lot of people who are even close to me might not necessarily know. So I wanted to talk about it and share it here on YouTube. Basically what I do is I'm an actor. It sounds so lame to say it out loud because I don't want to sound like I'm bragging. You know what I mean? I feel like any, I feel like when you refer to yourself as an actor or even like um, a social media influencer, a YouTuber. It seems like a very braggy kind of career, right? But honestly, yeah, I'm an actor, but I've been doing it for so, so long. I've been acting since I was in senior kindergarten, I believe. The first thing that I ever got as like a main part was in the year 2000. So that was a really long time ago. But as of right now, um, I've just been doing something called background acting and basically what background acting is all those amazing movies that you love watching movies tv shows and even um commercials those people who are just like walking around in the background shopping for cars talking with their friends after school walking down the street that is what i do that's my job <laughs> let me just explain briefly how this works like how do you become a background actor so you pretty much have to have like you have to have an agent because the agent is who sends you out for the jobs because they're the one who gets the jobs they're the one who has the connections and that know what's going on in the industry so that person will send out your photos you have to send them photos and all your information they usually like to know all your sizes and stuff like that um like your clothing sizes and your weight and blah 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 and then you send that all to them and then they send you out for jobs the thing about background acting is it's sometimes it can be consistent every single day sometimes it'll be twice a week sometimes it'll be once a week like it's all over the place the schedule is really crazy sometimes you won't work for a long time when you get information for like a job you don't really get that much information right away like your agent will just be like are you available this thursday you don't really get this information like way ahead in advance like sometimes it'll be the very next day and it's just you're available or you're not the evening before the day that you work you get all the information about where you need to go what kind of clothes to bring like if they want a certain makeup look your hair to be done a certain way like all the details and the times and all that are there yeah it's a pretty simple process and you can basically choose what days you're available and what days you're not so it's a completely flexible job to have if you have like another job or whatever right like it's really cool really chill i know a lot of people are interested in like what sets i've worked on i'm just gonna shoot off a bunch that i've been on i've honestly been on so many i probably won't even name them all i've been on degrassi max and shred a few um movies that haven't even come out yet backstage the next step i believe that's called lost and founders um, I think that show got canceled. Um, those are the ones that are like kind of more recent that I can remember. Um, and I've done so many more when I was younger, like on movies, um, a lot of movies, TV shows, like always kid shows. Like personally for myself, I always work on a lot of kid shows. There is one like um, adult show that I know a lot of you will know about that does film in Toronto, Suits. I have not worked on suits. A lot of people I know have worked on suits, but I look too much like a fetus to work on suits. They won't necessarily hire you just because of your age. They'll hire you for what you look like and if you can fit a certain role. So I tend to do a lot of kid shows and like high school stuff because so if you can keep up that youthful look, it's super awesome because then you'll like work forever. Having a job that feeds you is like pretty sick and like act like background acting like they feed you they like have to have a table with snacks there for you and they also feed you lunch as well which is pretty cool but there's also some rules around it too where they don't have to blah 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 it's a lot of detailed rules and i really don't want to go into it because i don't even know half of it and i don't even want to i don't want to say anything wrong another really cool perk 
about being a background actor or an actor in general is when you're on set sometimes you meet some really cool people it doesn't happen that often i mean i guess it does i don't really know but <laughs> sometimes like you run into celebrities like celebrities that are filming movies or tv shows or whatever in toronto so recently i was actually doing background on a movie that has not it hasn't come out yet um i'm not sure if they've finished filming or not honestly but um in this movie is jaden smith and cara delavine and um i saw both of them and that was pretty freaking cool and there's a lot of sets that i've been on where i've seen kind of like known faces or celebrities and like i don't get that hyped you know what i mean like I don't know for me like i depending on who it is like i'm not gonna get that hype and also on sets like they're really strict with like you can't go and like bug actors or ask for photos or autographs and stuff like they're working and it's just like it's kind of like common sense like on sets sort of like if you're kind of new to like acting and stuff those people sometimes make the mistake of being like oh my god so and so can i have a photo and then like you'll they get kicked off the set and like fired and it's just like not good for your career so um yeah usually when like actors are on set and stuff like you don't even like interact with them like you pretend like they're not there like you don't make it weird they're working they're there to do a job you're there to do a job and yeah it might be like a more fun environment but you kind of have to keep that idea in your head that like you're working right now and it's like not cool to go bug them you know what i mean i couldn't help but get hyped a bit for like jaden smith and cara delavine because that's kind of like my generation celebs if you will right and they're kind of like around my age so i was kind of like dude as far as like cara delavine goes she was like just getting out of a car and like walking like a couple meters away from me in and out of like the set um, I didn't really get to see her too much, but when they were holding, they were holding us upstairs in a building and I was standing up there and talking to some other background actors. And then I hear someone say, yo, where's the bathroom? And I turn around and like literally like from where I am to where the camera is like, which is like literally like not even a meter. Jaden Smith was standing right there and I was like, it's just like so trippy. Like, I don't know, it was just weird. Like, I don't want to fangirl right now, but like it was kind of cool, like a little bit, you know, a little bit. But yeah, he was like that far away from me asking like where the bathroom is, like such a casual, just like I, I, and like I couldn't like use my mouth. Like it stopped working. I knew where the bathroom was. It was like right over there, but like, I don't know what happened honestly that's the first time that's ever happened to me there's been other sets where like i've seen celebrities and i'm like hey sup man if they like make eye contact with me or they say something like just like hey yeah here's answering your question but like you know just because jaden smith is like so current for my generation i kind of like died a little bit <laughs> You know, I just shut up and stood there like an idiot, but whatever. So yeah, Jaden Smith was in front of me asking me where the bathroom was, but then somebody else told him where it was and he was like, cool man, thanks. And turns around and goes to the washroom and I was like, Jaden Smith. Okay. Anyways, I kind of tripped out a bit and I saw Jaden Smith in person. So uh. what other celebrities have I seen? When I was younger, my sister was on a set and I got to go to the set with her because I was young. So I got dragged along, you know, naturally. I saw Russell Crowe, Renee Zellweger, both pretty dope. Russell was a little bit cranky, I'm not gonna lie. I've seen Avril Lavigne before, but like that wasn't really like acting related. It was literally at a mall. Those are the only people that I can think of right now. Also, I've had a lot of people request that I vlog on set or like when I'm working because people want to see like how it's actually like. You can't like 100% vlog on set because I'll get in trouble because like um, you can't reveal what's happening on the set because like that's confidential like stuff like that hasn't come out yet right like that's a no-brainer but like as far as like we're background where we all like chill out and we get held it's like background holding totally forgot to mention that we get like held in like background holding like they'll like have like a room for us somewhere or something and just like a bunch of chairs and stuff and like we just kind of chill in there until they call us on set i will definitely vlog on set one day kind of like show you holding and like how like 
it feels like to be behind the scenes on a set. Um, but I can't show you the set though because I will get fired and I like my job. So I'm not gonna do that. The second that I have the chance to vlog on like a super chill set, I will do that for you guys. Cause I'm sure that's pretty cool. It's kind of, it's not your everyday job. So you'll get to see something that you don't usually see. And that's dope. If you guys have any questions about background acting or like anything about it, any questions, what goes on, blah, 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 about me, what I do, whatever. Just comment down below and I'll make another video and I'll answer some more of your questions. Um, or feel free to like DM me on Instagram and I'll like answer your questions there. But I really hope you guys like this video. I hope it was informative and kind of entertaining. Um, but now you know a little bit more about what I do, where I've been and who I've seen. So it's pretty cool. We're getting tight now. We're we got this bond happening. I hope you guys like this video and I will see you guys next time. Bye.